if you all want to save money on your garden next year, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to tell you how to do it right now. Welcome back, guys. It's been a long time since I did a garden update, and today's going to be the day. We've already been eating tomatoes, vegetables, vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, strawberries, beans. I'm going to show you. Potatoes are still coming. Have a look. We still got the potatoes coming. This is her herb garden. I don't know whether that's dying or still kicking. Check out these peppers. It's our cherry tomatoes in the back there. So ready for picking. Got more tomatoes over here. What I find odd, what I find odd is some of the tomato plants, they look really, I mean obviously it's a different kind of tomato, but these ones here in the pot, there's not a whole lot to the plant. When I get to the back here, I'll show you. There's a lot to the plant. Sorry about the neighbor's air conditioner there. But there's a lot to the plant. Maybe it's just because they're in a bucket. I don't know. Let's move on. So we've got the beans are growing. Here we go. There's some beans right there. So strawberries. We picked them yesterday. So there's not really... I guess there's a couple right there. There's none that are ripe. Peppers. Now, if you all know what kind of peppers these are, let me know. Because uh, they don't look like a normal pepper kind of small like not as long here's one of those tomato plants I was telling you about look at here so this is it for the tomato plant not a very big stock but it's got some tomatoes on it and not a lot of plant and some more going along here pepper plant now these are beans Jen just put them in the other day this poor guy here I don't think is going to make it if we move over to this side, so there's the peppers I was telling you about right here. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's going to make it or not. So what I do want to show you guys is, this is the watermelon plant. Now it looks like it's dying. But if we go down to the end, that has stopped growing. That has been that size for probably about a week and a half. So I'm guessing this plant here might be dead. If that's the case, we'll just have to pull it and put some melts in there uh, what else we got more tomatoes look at this one here just loaded with tomatoes these are yellow tomatoes and some pickling cucumbers in the back let's go over to the back here oh look at that corn <laughs> check out that corn look at this and we only got a few but that's okay the pepper plants are huge There's some peppers growing here. There we go. What we got over here? We got some more over here. Look at all that. That is tomato plants. And you can see the size of the stock down the bottom there. So this is a watermelon plant that starts up in there. Comes all the way out here. Now we did pick a watermelon off of here. About two weeks ago it was big and it looked like it was ready but it was not so here's what we got going we've got one right here another one right here we've got a good size one growing in there if we come out to the end out here we've got one right here here I mean it is just pushing watermelon everywhere I believe there's another one up in there. So we're going to let them go for as long as we can before we pull them. Uh, more peppers. Yeah, we got peppers. Let's see if we got going in here. Let's see if we got some right here. More bean plants. We got some cucumbers going here. They've got one there. All right, so all this was pretty much grown with our own seeds that I harvested last year. Very little money. I mean, I'm gonna say probably less than $30 total was spent on this entire garden. Now, now we did buy all the tomato racks. Like, we did buy all these tomato racks, these things here. 
um, a couple bags of dirt and whatnot but for plants we bought maybe four plants total everything else was done from seed which we harvested last year how do you do it well let's have a quick look here we're gonna go over here to the cucumbers now if you want to go from seed with the cucumbers we've got a couple going on this one here you'll let this thing grow until it turns yellow once the whole thing is yellow you'll then pick it slice it down the middle pull the seeds out wash the seeds off keep them to let them dry out on a napkin or on a paper plate keep them till next year and plant them one at a time it's that easy uh, same with the tomatoes the tomatoes look at these plants here look at all these tomatoes there's so many tomatoes in there we don't know what to do with them all look at them Oh, well, there's a couple ready to go here. Almost ready to go. They're not quite red. Some beef steaks back in there. Now, when they all turn red, you'll grab a tomato, cut the tomato open, pull the seeds out. All the gel that's around the seeds, that's a protectant coating so that the seeds don't want to sprout inside the tomato. Put them in a strainer, wash all that gel off, leave them on a napkin or paper plate to dry. There's your seeds for next year. And you can get a lot of seeds out of a tomato. Just cut one open, you'll see. Get a lot of seeds out of a tomato. Let's say you're not growing tomatoes already, but you want to get, harvest some tomato seeds. Go to the grocery store, grab a tomato, harvest the seeds out of that tomato. Save them for next year. If you don't have the space, like we are fortunate enough that we have these raised beds that I built a couple years ago. If you don't have the space, then you can always go to what we did was that was go to pots and buckets home depot buckets canadian tire buckets a couple of those buckets and the rest were big flower pots that jen would find on sale at the dollar store so we would plant them in so if you have a balcony or you have a small back step or even if you have very little room outside at all if you've got two buckets and put cucumbers in one and you put tomatoes in the other or whatever you like to eat and away you go I challenge you to go to the grocery store and keep track for a month of the vegetables that you buy and how much that costs you at the end of that month take that money put it in your pocket or you can take that money and go to like a Walmart or somewhere or Home Depot and that's not sponsored it's just I know they have them and buy the packages of seeds you can buy a pack of cucumber seeds tomato seeds watermelon seeds pepper seeds whatever you want take them home and then when comes springtime start those in the small pots and away you go so for probably less than ten dollars you can have a pack of cucumber seeds pack of tomato seeds package of pepper seeds what else do i got watermelon seeds for ten dollars you can get a lot of seeds and there's a lot in each one and that's a good way to get you going get a couple of pots a couple of buckets and then you'll be saving your own money We've been eating cucumbers, like I said, cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, strawberries, watermelon. The corn's just about ready. You see the size of the stock on that. And it is just about ready to go here. Look at this. Look at that. Now, this corn come from my farmer buddy, Paul. He gave me some seeds, some corn seeds. So I planted it in here and it has grown like wildfire most of us eat vegetables or we all like to eat vegetables to try and stay healthy if you want to grow your own it's not that hard you can plant three or four seeds five seeds in a bucket whichever ones take that's what you're running with i had videos early on jen this whole work here is all jen's doing this is all jen did all this like i said before this is my big idea all her doing she sat there painstakingly in the front room. I had a video on it where she was just separating seedlings. 10, 20 seedlings at a time. 30, 40. She's just separating them. Because a lot of them sprouted. We didn't want to waste them. So we had to separate them. You may find that. You may not. But that's our garden update. Everything's going well. We're eating out of the garden. Which means we are not spending money buying vegetables at the grocery store. And that's what it's all about and i know where i come from i know there's nothing sprayed on these nothing i know what i'm eating that's the most important thing is you know what you're eating and in this day and age guys sorry about the light in this day and age 
with the food problems that's going on in this world and things like that, if you can walk outside and grab food and eat it, I think you'll find you're better off. That's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that update. Uh, as we start getting more and things start getting bigger, I'll bring you another update. But for now, get outside and enjoy the outdoors and pick your vegetables. We'll see ya. here are going to be for a future project of our water catchment system two water safe barrels we're going to be hooking those together and putting them in the back over here alongside the shop after i get an eave trough put up to collect the water but that'll be a separate video on its own